In Western Australia, stored grain insects don't infest standing crops of wheat or other grain. All new infestations arise from insects overwintered in harvesters, farm silos and waste grain around the farm. Therefore, it's important to clean out machinery and waste grain to avoid weevil problems at harvest. The first principle of insect control is good hygiene. Clean silos, bins and harvesters at the end of the season and treat them with a long-lasting insecticide. Chemical insecticides have been used for many years, but nowadays weevils are becoming resistant to them. Therefore, we have to use them at high rates. Pesticide operators risk exposure to dangerous chemicals, and the public demands chemical-free food. Alternatives must be found. For countries like Australia that enjoy a reasonably dry climate, inert dusts are an effective natural replacement. These dusts, also called desiccant or sorptive dusts, kill insects by dehydration. They contain no knockdown agent or chemical insecticide. And organic growers accept them as a non-chemical grain protectant. Modern inert dusts are mainly based on amorphous silica, usually found in naturally occurring diatomaceous earth. Refining and coating with silica gel converts the grey, crude diatomaceous earth seen on the left into the fine white powder seen in the right-hand side bowl. This is sold as dryocide in Australia. During manufacture, insecticidal efficiency is greatly increased. Unlike the fast-acting chemical insecticides, inert dusts can take 7 to 15 days to kill all insects when they have access to a food source. Weevils on untreated wheat are healthy, active and busy spoiling the grain. This sample has been treated with dryocide. The weevils are already coated with dust and starting to show the first signs of dehydration. The time taken to kill all weevils varies with the insect species and storage conditions. These granary weevils are quite resistant to desiccation, but most are dead after seven to ten days exposure to inert dust. You could also use inert dusts for pre-treating machinery and empty silos, as well as protecting stored grain. First, clean out the silo, then blow inert dust into the outlets. Next, blow more in from the top access holes to coat all internal surfaces. All you need is two grams of dust per square metre of surface. Clean down and dust all grain handling equipment before laying it up at the end of the season. A blowback Venturi gun, powered by compressed air, makes a good job of sucking straw and grain debris from the header. Then you can reverse the gun to blow the rest out. Next, blow inert dust throughout the machine using either a blowback gun or a simple bellows duster. Firstly, apply one kilo through the main sections of the header, run the machine for a few minutes, then apply a second kilo to make sure the dust coats all internal surfaces. You can also use inner dusts to protect food product warehouses from insect infestations. Clean all ledges and crevices which could harbour insects and grain debris, then give them a good coat of dust for long-term protection. Some inert dust formulations can be applied as a slurry in water. Slurries work particularly well in large stores and warehouses. Calibrate the equipment by spraying a measured wall area with water, then discharging the spray into a measuring container for exactly the same time. This gives you the right amount of dust to add to the slurry tank. Apply it in smooth vertical strokes to give an even coating of 6 grams dust per square metre. This method of application is popular with the Australian grain industry because it's clean, quick to apply and makes it easy to control application rates. Stored grain can be protected with inert dusts for 12 months or more. It must not be more than 12% moisture content for wheat and coarse grains or 14% for paddy rice. Even application is vital to make sure all the grain is coated with dust otherwise insects might survive in untreated zones. Mechanical metering is the most reliable method. Inert dusts slow down the flow rate of treated grain. 
you will need to increase the auger speed and slow the grain input rate to prevent stalling or blockage. This unit is driven by the momentum of the grain stream, rather like a water mill. It needs only simple adjustment of the outlet slots to obtain the recommended dose rate of one kilo per ton. This applicator is driven by a 12 volt DC motor with the dosage rate controlled by the motor speed. Inert dust application rate is adjusted to match the grain transfer rate. Small quantities of grain can be treated by hand. Pre-weigh one gram of dust for every kilo of grain, then spread the dust on the surface of a small heap of the grain. Turn it over completely three times to mix thoroughly. Bag off the grain and store it under cover in a dry place. Provided it's kept dry, treated grain will remain insect free for long periods. This farmer supplies registered organically grown cereal grain to the health food industry. He routinely protects his stored grain with an inert dust protectant. By maintaining high standards of farm hygiene and adopting the latest chemical free insect management strategies, Australian farmers are helping to maintain Australia's reputation for supplying the world with the highest quality grain products.